is your opening contest of the countdown to Multiverse United 2 for whom the bell tolls. It's a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the 2300 Arena in Philadelphia. We are live on fight for the countdown to Multiverse United 2. And kicking things off here with the man himself, the Lucha Papi Rocky Romero, getting set for six-man tag team action. Well, we have this team here. Only Rocky is here. I'm already, I'm already questioning the continuity. You know that I, won't be the end of it, though, considering the teammates he has, especially in his former mega coach's partner, Taguchi, as well as the winner of the best of the Super Junior Tournament, Mr. Master Wako. Aokuna, way to the Grand Master. Master Wato! what Impact Wrestling brings to the table for this opening, con opening contest on the countdown to Multiverse United. And introducing their opponents, the team of Joe Hendry, Yuya Uemura, and the Red Head Rebel, Heath. We're talking about dancing. I'm waiting for Heath to pick things up because uh, old pelvis Wesley can get things going. Absolutely, it's the, uh, I can't, I'm waiting for him and Taguchi to get in the ring together and see what goes down. Maybe, look at, Hendry waves the hands back and forth, a little bit of dancing, maybe even Yuya gets involved. I'm curious to see if Hendry can motivate Heath. You know, just get him on the side of him and Yuya. They've been tagging together a little bit recently, or at least they would like to be more of a consistent tag team. Yeah, I am really liking the growing continuity between Yuya and Joe Hendry, although I do think they should start wrestling in the G. That's, I just think so. Oh, look at that. You got the, the spin down. All right. It, it's growing, like I said, more and more. <laughs> Taguchi's jumping in as well. Maybe he never misses an opportunity for a moment like that. Very serious. Very serious wrestler. Well, you know what? We He's tried. About, yes. He's tried. I we know brought that. this up last night at the, the All-Star oh, Junior. Oh, Festival. and we got a little oh. turn from this trio. Taguchi, uh, who's known for much of his career, for if there's anybody new to New Japan pro wrestling scene out there in TV land, uh, known for what we call, quote, butt stuff, mm -hmm. uh, yep. likes to use his posterior uh, in an offensive and fun uh, uh, way, but tried to kind of move away from that. Last night, Veda, it didn't really even get a chance to get off the blocks. Yeah, he tried to make it even all the way through the Best of Super Juniors tournament recently, uh, playing it straight, totally serious, and... Um, his record reflected that. It, yeah. it, it did not go well. However, now that he is back to being the funky weapon, and uh, as you said, good stuff, <laughs> things are going his way. So this is Heath to start things off against Rocky Romero. Romero, not only long history, of course, in New Japan for wrestling in Mexico as well, though, for companies like CMLL current historic welterweight champion down there. Now, Rocky, a big reason why uh, events like this, Multiverse United, Multiverse United 2, have all come together, Impact and New Japan, working together to make these great events in Los Angeles back in March, and now here in Philadelphia, which is a, a fantastic city, in my opinion. We were here last night. Oh. oh! Here last night in Philadelphia oh, for the All-Star Junior Festival, and maybe that's why Rocky's a little off his game. He did compete, of course, in that Pat's right. King of Steaks cheese 
State Cup three-way <laughs> ladder match. By the time I finish, Water the match names. will be over. <laughs> Where's Ult the cup? That, that was real. Yeah. Ultimately came up short there. There was no cup. I know. There I was, no I was expecting a cup. But, but Rocky the did, title. He, he did walk away with, with a cheesesteak yeah. before he left the, the arena. We do know that. Yeah, yes. now Rocky's all fired up. The, you know, the, the, the energy from the meat juices, it's a slow oh, burning God. sort of energy. Really, well, you're a Pennsylvania you know, resident like myself, and you know, like you have one of those things, and it could knock you out for the afternoon. There were some more backstage today, and they're fresh. I checked. Yes. Well, right now, the mega coaches have combined to Gucci, bracing himself. Get ready for it. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I don't think Taguchi has no idea. Has it it no. was Rocky. Pelvis Wesley is emerging In from the skin here. of Heath. And now, now the realization is there. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of the 69th IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Oh! oh! Posterior right to the face by Taguchi. And a tag made in comes Joe Hendry, the longest reigning Impact Digital Media Champion of all time. And uh, speaking of the Digital Media Championship, Tom, we're going to see that defended also here on this countdown. Coming up next. And Kenny King will defend against Kanemaru here in a matter of moments in the countdown. Tag made in comes Master Watto. Shots here at Yuya and Heath. Master Watto won the Best of Super Juniors Tournament just recently. You saw him bring the trophy out with him, now taking it to Joe Henry. Oh, big clothesline by Henry. So now, bringing it back to his corner, yeah. Tag. And certainly all eyes are going to be on that special tag team match a little bit later on tonight. The X Division champion Leo Rush teams with Trey Miguel up against Speedball Mike Bailey and the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion himself, Hiromu Takahashi. That's right, keep in mind that oh, that match in particular, everybody except for Trey Miguel competed last night at the All-Star Junior Festival, so they'll have a lot to recover from heading into that big tag match. Oh, down goes Yuya. And I have to wonder how Trey Miguel feels about being left out of the All-Star Junior Festival. But no one's left out here. We got some triple action. Look out below. Romero to Gucci and Watto taking out the competition on the outside of the ring as the fans still filing in here inside the 2300 arena. A lot of bright personalities in this one. Fourth Master Watto and Taguchi were also the 69th one. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Two. Team Champions. That's why they're Team Six or Nine. Three. Big nice. fans of uh, numerology. There, yes, I love know. that. I'm excited Ooh. to see Team Catch Two Two later on tonight. <laughs> Lots, of numerology. Lots of numbers. Oh, oh, and Heath able to catch Watto amongst the ropes there. Savvy veteran move there by Heath. He's been around the block. Oh, multiple time Tag Team Champion and Impact and WWE. And Heath is keeping Watto on the outside. Oh. Pulled him out and face first into the apron once again. Also, why is he dragging him over near his side of the ring, his team's side of everything, keeping Watto away from his tag team partners? Watto back inside now trying to drag him to the corner again. Smart tag team wrestling here. In comes Joe Hendry. Oh. Oh. Big 252 pounder can lay the lumber. And Matt, you can recall this last night in that cheesesteak ladder match. Master Watto, he had, Ooh, kick out. Five it looked like match. a cut to his eyebrow, perhaps? Eye or ear, something on the, but there was a lot of a lot of blood on the side of his head but by the end of that ladder match. Yeah, surely Hendry has that in mind. Whoa. I like the way you condensed the name of the cheesesteak ladder match. That was, that was <laughs> great. Well, we could get rid of the cup. There was no cup. <laughs> it was just a bag. Oh, now some Sammy's. Oh, look at the strength Here. of Joe Hendry. Oh. Stalling suplex, couple of squats. Here's the cover on Watto to win this tag team matchup and a kick out. Again, everybody on that side of the ring, Hendry, Heath, and 
Yuya all fresh here. Everybody on the other side of the ring, all their opponents, did compete as well at the All-Star Junior Festival last night. Now, Uemura legal into the matchup. We're getting a little bit more of an extended look here, Raywald, of what Uemura and Hendry can be as a team. Here's a right. cover. Shoulders down. Oh, Master Watto still alive. And also, let's not forget the little wrinkle in here that Yuya Uemura is a product of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yes. Came to Impact as part of his excursion here to the U.S., but now here representing Impact against his former home. Oh! Chop right to the chest, oh. goes after Taguchi and Romero. Yuya doing everything he can to just keep Watto completely isolated. And taking away the tag yeah. options here. Oh. Power slam there near his team's corner. Back in comes Heath. Great continuity so far for the team from Impact. Doing a great job isolating Master Watto in their corner, keeping up his tag team partners. He's getting oh. nasty tonight. Ah, ah, One, ah, two, ah, three. Ah, ah. Let him go. Come on. Breaks before the referee's count is completed. And, and you know, Keith is a little bit nasty. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, listen, you and I have talked about on Impact, he's been going after people left and right, from, seemingly from out of nowhere, where he sees injustices in Impact. He seeks to right the leg lariat there to Master Watto. There's a cover. Look to the leg. Oh, and the match will continue, but Vayner, as you well know, it's Impact and New Japan coming together, but there is that interpromotional rivalry playing as well. Absolutely, especially here on the countdown. You want to start Impact Wrestling off with a win if you're Heath, Joe, and Yuya. And now Joe Henry trying to take the head off Master Watto. Watto's fighting out. Uh -oh. oh, and down goes Henry. And Watto's got to get to the corner to make a tag. To Gucci and Romero, relatively fresh at this point. And a tag man, in comes Rocky Romero. Oh, and taken down the much larger Joe Hendry. Things are hot here, continuing, picking up the pace. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Turned it into slice bread on the move. Now winding up. Wants to go forever. Can he get it done? It begins now. Oh, oh. there's one ever. There's two ever. Oh, stopped by Hendry. And now Watto back into the ring. Hendry. Oh, my God. He's going for two at the same time here. Double fall away slam. The power, the inspiration of Hendry feeding his own strength. On the corner, Yuya reaching for his tag partner, and here comes Suguchi as well. Oh, went backside first, went tailbone first into the canvas. That couldn't have felt good. Sometimes one step backfires, guys. I've been oh. saying that for years. Oamura levels Suguchi. That's you, look at that. House of Fire. Oh, and the Bulldog there yeah. by Uemura. Someone who has been so impressive and really has just solidified his place on the Impact Wrestling roster. And we've talked about it recently. It feels like Yuya's on the brink of something Whoa. big. An impact hold on to Gucci. Trying to catch Uemura here and a kick out by Yuya. Yeah. Oh. Key victory away. A win for Team Impact here. Could do him very well in his standing. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait. trying oh. to catch him. Uemura. Oh, nearly had him. So oh, beautiful Enziguri. You, you just rock there. Wobbly legs. That's Taguchi here feeling fired up. Oh, huge shot there by Uemura. Yeah. Look out. Oh, raw strength from Yuya. Jufu kick on 10 minutes of pass, 10 minutes. And now going up top here. Oh, taking a big risk to Gucci. Starting it back up on his feet, but gets caught. Cross body. He's won with that before. Is it enough? Oh, Murray gets the win for his team. Here are your winners. The team of Keith, Joe Henry, and Yuya Oimara. Well,
that's a good way to start for Team Impact. Setting the tone for this evening here in Philadelphia here on the countdown to Multiverse United 2. Well, and Tom, Matt, I, I don't know. I mean, it really seems like Yuya is also sending a message a little bit to New Japan Pro Wrestling. As you mentioned, that was his original home, but now, as part of the Impact Wrestling roster getting the win, is the Yuji is held to the outside. And good tidings for this newly forming team, growing team, with Joe Hendry as well. Hendry, Fulmora, and Heath take care of business against Romero, Taguchi, and Master Wato here on the countdown to Multiverse United 2. For whom the bell tolls, and we are not done yet in a matter of moments. Kenny King will defend his digital media championship on behalf of Impact Wrestling against Kanemaru. Right, all of this part of a huge, huge night here in Philadelphia. The best of the best from, uh, from both companies getting ready to go to war. The following contest, scheduled for one fall, with a 30-minute time limit, is for the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Championship. Impact Digital Media Championship, 30 minutes, one minute, one minute. For what? We're gonna take. Just five guys. Well, there he is. One of the most decorated junior heavyweights in Japanese history. Perhaps the greatest ever GHC junior heavyweight champion from NOAA, but also a six-time IWGP junior heavyweight tag team champion right here. Just five guys. Kanemaru Yoshinobu! And Tom, that, that ain't Gatorade he's got. That's a nice bottle of Japanese whiskey he brings with himself. This guy might be my new favorite wrestler. All right, Matt, I got to ask. If Kanemaru can win the Digital Media Championship here tonight, are you? can we see some collabs maybe Please. between oh you my guys? God. Some whiskey tasting videos? It's about to be Suntory time and title time maybe. Has anything to say about that? That certainly will not be happening. And this is a busy week for Kenny King because he has this defense here tonight in Philadelphia against Kanemaru. If he can get past Kanemaru, then he will defend the digital media title this coming Sunday, August 27th, live in Toronto for Impact's emergence event against Johnny Swinger, of all people. Sentences you never thought you'd say. Well, you, know, you two were saying two. butt stuff a lot yeah. moments ago, <laughs> and we're talking about whiskey already. The guy's drinking on the way to the ring. It's been a fun night thus far. Hey. Again, this is the countdown. We have a little <laughs> bit of extra fun. First time ever matchup. Kanemaru against Kenny King. The Impact Digital Media Championship is at stake here on the countdown to Multiverse United 2. Again, as I was saying during his entrance, Despite all, all we're talking about, the whiskey, the amber mist, if you will. I mean, this guy is such a decorated junior heavyweight in all of Japanese wrestling. Somebody yeah, so, since joining the world right. just five guys has really seen himself reinvigorated in terms of New Japan. Of course, that faction includes none other than the current IWGP heavyweight champion Sonata. So it's, it's not a, it's not a bad group to be. In. Sonata will be uh, joining us at emergence. He will be in action against. The heavyweight force, Jake something. I cannot wait to see that match over Toronto. Me too. More of the worlds colliding even after Multiverse United here. As these two jockey for position. Of course, you know, we talk about the junior heavyweight 
resume of Kanemaru, but Kenny King in his own right, a former X Division champion as well. Two times over. That's right, both these guys got the resumes to back it up. Starting off slow here a little bit, starting a kind of a feeling out process. Interesting aspects here, no Sheldon Jean to back up Kenny That's King. Right. Not that he needs it. No, no, no. <laughs> certainly doesn't use the Sheldon Jean to cheat and win. Oh, now Kenny King is. shaking it off. Kenny King is, he is the larger, stronger opponent. Kanemaru, picking up the pace Ooh. here, and a shot right to the left knee. Great low drop kick there by Kanemaru. That allowed him to take advantage immediately into the side headlock takeover. Yeah, I don't know if Kanemaru is necessarily quicker, but he definitely has that caginess. And as we mentioned, long-term championship experience. The titles on the line is no strange place to be. Great for Kanemaru. Great control of the headlock here by Kanemaru. Kenny King really has not had much of a chance to get going here in this title defense. It's our first of three championship matches that we'll see here tonight inside the 2300 as King goes to the eyes and takes advantage of Kanemaru using the top rope. That's the athleticism of Kenny King and now just leveling Kanemaru. Heavy clothesline by King. Now into the cover to retain the title. And a kick out by Kanemaru. And as I mentioned, still to come once Multiverse United 2 begins live exclusively on Fight at 5 p.m. Eastern. We will see two more championship matches. First of all, a four-way match for the New Japan Strong Women's Championship. And also our main event, Shelly versus Tanahashi over here for the Impact World Championship. Major implications in both of those matches in terms of just changing the entire face of their respective divisions. But you could say the same thing about this digital media championship if Kanemaru can pull it off. I mean, he's he's going to have a spot in Impact Wrestling for sure. And can you imagine I mean, the digital media championship in, in terms of history is one of the newer championships at Impact Wrestling has never really left the company. Can you imagine if Kanemaru took it to Japan, started defending it in New Japan Pro Wrestling? This could open up a whole new doorway for the Digital Media Championship. But first, he's going to have to get through Kenny King, who is just so vicious. Oh. Not to mention the winner of this matchup theoretically would have to go back in time and defend the title against Johnny Swinger. And emerge. <laughs> I guess that's true. Swinger has been in the 2300, inevitably. ECW original, Tom. Yes. Just has Tommy Dreamer. Oh! oh! Tailbone first, went for the leg drop, came up empty, and kanamaro has got an opportunity to collect himself. Big swing and a miss there from Kenny King. Kanemaru pulling himself up to his feet. Here comes King. And King rushes in there, shot right to the midsection. Kanemaru trying to wear down the digital media champion. Got to take advantage of this window that he's had over Kenny King. Quickly turning him around. Whoa! Great counter from Kanemaru. Uh, Kanemaru trying to follow up here. He's got Kenny King on the back foot, so to speak, in this championship matchup. He's got to keep his foot on the gas. Look out. Whoa, looking for that moonsault. Landed on his feet. King came with a big clothesline attempt. Kanemaru with a DT. Excellent reversal there by Kanemaru. Hold on, Gobert hook to the leg for the championship kick out by King. Kanemaru utilizes DDT's another neck-based offense to great effectiveness. Now going to try, I think, maybe again here. Moonsault, and he nails it. Did he get enough? Here's the cover. And King able to power out there at two. But that was close. One second away from having a brand new digital media champion from New Japan Pro Wrestling is now King dropping his hip and trying to do what he can to fight off Kanemaru. Out of the corner, now King, shoulders down, might have Kanemaru, no, a kick out. And a beautiful spine buster by Kenny King to retain, cannot put away Kanemaru. The frustration seems to be building 
on the face of the digital media champion. I'm curious to see how it plays out. Hey, Kenny King, despite what you may think, but he's been playing this one pretty straight up here tonight. Up onto the shoulders is the time for the chin check or the that. Royal hey. Flush. Kanavaro's holding on to the official, launching the official at King. Oh, and a step up in Sakuri. Oh, Kanavaro's got to be careful he doesn't get disqualified. Using the official to his advantage. I mean, simple but effective. Oh, oh you touched on it. Busted out. Do we see a little bit of the amber miss, the golden amber? Oh! oh. Spraying it into the air. King able to avoid it. Shoulders down. Oh, what a kick out by King. Oh, there's the Eddie Gordo. Following up, though. Uh, now a royal flush by King. Shoulders down. King holds on to his crown. to a hot start here on the countdown, Beta. Two wins for Impact. Kenny King retains the Digital Media Championship, but it was a hard-fought match. He's not used to being in the ring with someone who also is a little flexible with the rules like Kanemaru. The King's the same way. But nonetheless, Kenny King able to retain this Digital Media Championship and now can look forward to emergence this coming Sunday, August 27th, live in Toronto, where Impact is in defense this title once again against Johnny Swinger. Thank you all so much for joining us here on the Countdown. Multiverse here 92, for whom the bell tolls, goes live exclusively on Fight at 5 p.m. Eastern.